Valerie de Kempa, there's going to be disappointment. The Greens outperformed at the European elections. They were hoping to beat their best ever score. It dates back to 2002, 5.2%. Uh, That's not going to happen. Not going to happen. 4.3. That's a devastating loss for Jadot and the Greens. And when the photo of Yannick Jadot appeared on the screen with that 4.3 percent, there was a collective gasp and some people even holding each other into their arms. So a huge disappointment for supporters here tonight. And you can see now people cheering Jadot behind me as he's just ended his speech and he's about to leave the venue. But again, a huge disappointment nonetheless as 4.3 percent that's just under the five percent threshold that allows a party to get reimbursed by the state for its uh, campaign costs so they have invested more than eight million euros in this campaign it's unheard of for the greens uh, a clear loss for jadot but as you said also for the green a party in recent years they have been making considerable gains in the european uh, parliament elections but also local elections they are now in control of some of uh, the largest cities in France, including Lyon and uh, Bordeaux. So clearly, they were not expecting to be come under the 5% threshold. And the whole paradox, of course, being that uh, environmental issues are becoming uh, more salient in the French society with climate marches, with people taking to the streets. Uh, and the whole paradox, again, being that they have not been able to capitalize on that grassroots uh, movement and uh, have the same results that they have been seeing in regional elections, in European elections on the national level. And Yannick Jadot, he really tried quite hard in the last few weeks uh, leading up to the election to present himself as uh, the type of person who would have the stature to lead the country, talking about defense, about national security, about the war in Ukraine. Uh, but again, uh, perhaps the French people, they don't see an environmentalist, a former Greenpeace activist has turned European MP sitting at the Elysee Palace. And even though we have seen him uh, trying his best to perhaps shake off this image of not being someone right. competent for the job, uh, well, th those efforts have not paid off. Many thanks. Valérie de Kemp reporting from Green Party headquarters.